All right, round one. We will play first. And yeah, this is definitely a keepable hand. This hand's actually really good. So, I mean, considering the power level of our deck, this, this hand is really good. We have an out to flyers. We've got definite out to ground units. We've got already a couple of our win cons here. Oh my god, we're playing against Mill. Well, this is actually kind of good against us because we'll at least be able to get our guys online. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's actually really good for us. We'll see. Could be the sickest self mill or sickest mill deck you've ever seen. Or mill. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna open with the reap the sea graph. Then we can follow it up with a Diagraph Captain to really get some damage in there next turn. Alright, he has not hit a creature yet. A little bit unusual. Dream Twist? Alright. So he is definitely milling the crap out of us. He got rid of his own Undead Alchemist though, so I guess that's good for us. I have a feeling he's probably got a pretty good mill deck though. Um, uh, he did hit a creature, so I think I am going to open with the Mauler, just make better use of our mana. Instead of the Diagraph Captain, because then next turn Diagraph Captain will be really close to, to just straight up killing him at that point. So he's he's got to have some like Silent Departures or Grasp of Phantoms, I'm guessing. He's probably got Grasp of Phantoms. I could see him very easily uh, doing a uh, doing a grasp of phantoms next turn on my makeshift mauler, and then ghoul callers belling it away, which is pretty strong. All right, I just want to see more of what he's got in his deck here. Uh, yeah, invisible stalker is definitely a card. Oh, I forgot to play my diagraph captain. No. Uh, okay, so change plans. We're gonna play the Headless Scab instead. Okay. Well, I guess better that countered than our Diagraph Captain. That's caress. Okay. Well, at least we don't have any humans. Or at least he didn't do it to a human, I should say. Alright. Um, unfortunately, you do not have the mana to play both the captain and the stalker because of this shimmering grotto. But um, I can reap this turn and still kill him next turn, possibly without showing him the diagraph captain, so I think I'm going to do that instead. Just reap, and then get in for three. So we're at 13. Oh, he's double milling us now, so I'm thinking he's got just four dream twists in his hand, or what? <laughs> what think about my sideboard options against this, I don't even really know. Nice thing is we've got the deadly lure in the yard too, so that's actually kind of sweet. Can force him to block our typhoid rats, and then make sure that we get in for lethal with this diagraph captain. It's kind of cool actually. Um. Hmm. 
Well, I suppose we play the Diagraph Captain. I mean, I had Lethal on board, but I, I didn't want to necessarily worry about a removal spell. So I'd rather just try and kill him now and see if we can do that. This, this can't be instant, right? That'd be too good. Hysterical Blindness? Thy Sea Kite. Alright, so he goes to one. We are very close to dead, though. Uh, I mean, just in, I mean, I guess he's, he, he does have to take care of ten cards, but if he ends with a Dream Twist here, we might actually be dead. <clears throat> Not exactly certain. I think... Oh, I could have killed him if I'd played Deadly Allure. That's, that was a mistake. So, I should have been smarter about that. That was a, a bad play on my part. Because then I, I yeah, I could have forced him to block. Um, I should have anticipated the Sea Kite. Alright, well we still got the game anyway, which is cool. Um, let's take a look at more of the tools our opponent has. He's got some good mill cards. He does have good mill cards. Occultist, the Bells, Thought Scour, Undead Alchemist is sick. Um, Fortress, Crabs, Galore, which Deadly Lure is going to be really good against, I think, since he's got he's, he's going to have a low creature count. Um, Double Death's Caress. He's got good removal. So he got a lot of our good removal. Um... Ghoul Tree actually looks like something that could come in. I mean, Scab Goliath probably could too. Let me take a look. I mean, these are expensive though, is the problem. Hmm. What are some good options against him? Is there any way to destroy... No. Do not have any destruction for enchantments or artifacts, which is not so good. So do I do the strategy where I add more cards to my deck? I don't really like that strategy, to be honest. Um, I don't think that it's particularly strong. Um, it just makes your deck a little less efficient. Um, but I guess for a deck like this, I could probably get away with adding maybe a couple cards. But I really don't want to... It's, it's going to be tough to get the mana down once I add a few cards. And it really could uh, make my turn progressions significantly worse. Um, is there anything that looks weak? Yeah, I think Sensory Deprivations look like crap against him. Um, so I'll take those out for sure. Prey Upon will still be fine, I think, because of the Fortress Crabs. Like a Typhoid Rat or the Deadly Lure. I mean, I don't mind two for wanting myself to get his blocker like out of the way because just pushing through every piece of damage is going to be so essential. I think Ghoul Tree is actually going to be really good against him just because he's milling us. So there's a good chance that we'll at least have a couple creatures to make this guy cheaper. Um, Hunger the Howl Pack's probably okay as well. Um, Brain Weevil, I guess not particularly good against him. It's okay. Uh, I think we just go big. We bring in the Scab Goliath too. He is milling us, so we just want to see one of these bombs and play it. Um, yeah, this should be interesting. All right, let's do it again. Um, how does this look? Don't have a lot of pressure, but we can get to this. No black source, but that's not our main color. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. Uh, solely because of the ghoul tree. He's got double death crest, but if he can't answer ghoul tree, then it's gonna be lights out for him. So. And we got a stalker, so that's probably that's probably one of the best top decks we could have gotten. And we're fixed in black now, too, so that actually worked out pretty good. Alright, 
so we are cursed, but it's going to fuel our ghoul tree and possible stitch drakes and other nonsense that we may top deck. But there goes two of them. Alright, so we've got a land here. So we just swing and play Nibilus. We're on the beatdown plan. See if we can get there. Don't want to walk into a bone to ash on this murder of crows, so I think I will try my best to play around that. But he's still tapping out, so it's okay. Undead Alchemist is kind of a big deal. That guy is good. And so we have three creatures in the yard, which makes this guy three cheaper, so he's currently. Oh, that's right. Undead Alchemist and. Ugh. Oh. That is such a good interaction. Yikes! His one of is gonna kill us. What can I do about that? Just try and race, maybe? This guy costs f six still. That sucks. What can I do here? Not exactly sure what the best play is here. Um, just hope he doesn't have a removal. I think hope, hoping he doesn't have a removal spell and going on the beatdown plan is probably our best. I mean, I could use this defensively to block his undead alchemist, but he's got to suspect a trick if I swing in with both guys here. So I think I'm better off just like trying to race him. I believe my best option is a race. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to play the Briar Pack Alpha. Pump the Invisible Stalker, I guess. So we're on pure beatdown plan now, and if he can get by the Briar Pack Alpha, we're in pretty big trouble, but. Next turn, I have a possible murder of crows, and we can just try and race. Continuing to try and race. If he slams a swamp in, he can deathcrest the Briar Pack Alpha and get in for six, and then potentially get a million zombies and put us in big trouble. All right. Well, he didn't have the Black Source. Let's see if he has Grasp. Him resolving Undead Alchemist on turn what was it? His three, turn three. That's a huge deal. Alright, so he's just continuing to build his zombie army. Right, he didn't hit any zombies that time, which is great for us. Could play Reap the Seagraph here. Can I play Ghoul Tree yet? I'm at four mana, two, three creatures in the yard. So this is three cheaper, it's at five. No, I'm a mana short on that. Get this. Could play. I think I'm going to have to play a Reap this turn. Alright. Um, I'm fine with that. He already did his job anyway. Alright, so now we play the Reap, so we have a blocker for his Undead Alchemist. I mean, I'm, I'm putting myself in a really dangerous spot by doing this, because literally any removal, and we're in big trouble. Yeah, so like that, we're in huge trouble now. I knew that going in, but I, I have no choice. I'm not getting my fifth land. I, cu I couldn't play a Headless Scab there. I can't just sit back and hope that, you know, he's he's cursing me out, so there's really nothing I could do there. There, there was nothing. That was my best play. I don't think sitting back against a mill deck that has a curse on you is going to win you the game. Um, so he only got one zombie, which is probably, which is actually really good, considering how many he could have hit there. And we have one, two, three, four guys in the yard now, so at least we can play the ghoul tree. If he has bone to ash, if he has death's caress, 
it's just a ton of stuff that's literally just gonna wreck us but um, no choice uh, actually murder probably our best chance of winning since ghoul tree is just gonna get stomped on the ground yeah I guess we do the murder Yeah, him resolving the Undead Alchemist was pretty much the bane of this game, because we did not have a removal spell for it. Alright, so he gets another zombie. Yeah, when you're playing against a mill deck and they get Undead Alchemist online, you lose the game. Like, that, that's not going to work for you, ever. And he's got a removal spell here too, or uh, even more mill. That's pretty dirty. Um, I'm not going to use Murder of Crow's ability. I mean, it doesn't actually... This ability doesn't fuel the Undead Alchemist, but we're already getting milled out so hard, I, I don't think this is going to work out. So, we have to block here, and we're getting milled for 8. Yeah, I don't even know. Can I get milled for 8? I guess we can't, so i got to block here. So his deck did exactly what uh, he wanted to do. He got that alchemist online and wrecked us with it. So um, kudos to him for doing that. And blue collar spell. Yeah, we're we're pretty much just dead. Don't know how we could possibly come back from this one. Yeah, I think we'll just see. Don't want to show him the entire deck. We'll just go to game three. Okay, so that was a complete nightmare. Um, we have no way to kill. We have no way to kill Undead Alchemist, do we? No, we've got the Prey Upon. I guess we could force it into a block. That's not super likely. We have no outs against enchantments. Yeah, we're just... I mean, we're not as well prepared for this deck as I would have hoped. So, that sucks, but um, we're going to try this again because we just don't have sideboard options we can really do against him. And we don't have a ton of ways to kill his guy, which we really need to do. Alright. So, we have to hope he doesn't get on that Alchemist online, and we'll be looking a lot better. Yeah, this is a great hand. I mean, we don't have two of our three colors, but we've got three blue sources and a bunch of blue spells, so that's about as much as you could ask for. And now we're fixed for everything, so looking even better. If we got a uh, silver inlay dagger off the top, that would be ideal. Alright, so hit a zombie, so we'll do a third turn stitch drake, which is awesome, awesome place to be in. Since he can race particularly well. Got our green source. Uh, might as well play it. Attack. So we've got, I mean, we've got an awesome turn progression. This is about as fast as our deck is able to go, I think. Um, I mean, the one plus for us, we're probably one of the best matches against a mill deck, even a particularly strong mill deck like this, only because we run so many efficient creatures that require creatures in your graveyard. So there's that going for us. Briar Pack Alpha, that's sweet. Um, Alright, so we'll try and juke him here. Uh, we're going to play the uh, uh, Briar Pack Alpha regardless, so I'm just going to do that now.
Bone to Ash. Dissipate. It's got some good counter spells going. All right. So he successfully stifled our turn, but hopefully that. Hopefully he does not have a Bone to Ash for this Murder of Crows that we're going to slam next turn. All right. Fueling us more. That guy would have been good, though. I think this Briarback Alpha Splash was a good idea. What else have you got? A cultist. That guy's good. Alright, well, thankfully we're clear to slam our Murder of Crows now, which is one of the best spots you can be in when your opponent has not started milling you yet. Alright, well, he started milling us now. And he got rid of our Spectral Flight, which would have been an awesome tool to have right about now. He got rid of his Undead Alchemist again, so that's pretty sweet. And a Curse of the Bloody Tome. Okay. So he's got a Death's Crest here, the Murder of Crows. And then we're still beating down, and we still have another creature to beat down with. So that's a plus. Silver and Late Dagger off the top would end him real fast. Alright, well, Shimmering Grotto, I will, or Typhoid Rats, I will certainly settle for. He could also have the Victim of Night. We did pass one, but I will take it. Okay, Sea Kite, not really going to do much of anything except mill us once. Okay, so we're definitely drawing discarding. Um, only because, well, actually, no, I'm, I'm going to slam both of these, so I'm not going to do it. I changed my mind. Um, both of these are fine here, because I'll just start swinging with Typhoid Rats. And I don't want to mill myself any more than I have to, as you might imagine. So we've got just a fleet of dudes. We've got plenty of good stuff going for us this game. Oh my god, he has increasing confusion? This guy's deck is sick. That is unbelievable. So he can mill us for 8, no, 10. He can mill us for 10 here. Pretty much have to kill him next turn. This guy's deck's amazing. Oh my god, we got the match. That was crazy! This guy had like the best mill deck you can possibly have. Undead Alchemist, Increasing Confusion, Curses, Thought Scours, Sell Off Occultist, Dream Twist. This guy had the works on mill. The only reason we beat him is we, we had just a sweet turn progression in this game. Um, so that worked out. I'm really glad that we beat the mill deck with a subpar deck too. So we got there. That's sweet. Um, I'll see you next round.